Hi everyone, it's Alicia from Huggable Earth. I have a new journal that I'm going to be posting up for sale in my Etsy shop. This is the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland journal. Um, so it's about nine and a half tall by six across. And the spine is about one and a half. Um, I am going to add some charms or um, some type of tassel here. Okay, so it's like a semi semi hardcover um, kind of I don't it's kind of a soft cover kind of type of deal, but it's got a firm core. Um, so yeah, there's that. This is not, I usually do sorry silk, but I got coordinating um, fabric to go with the fabric on the front. And so I used the cotton fabric and just tore it. And it's the drippy roses, the painted roses fabric. And so that's really 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 pretty um and i love the way that it came out this is the inside of the front when you open it up so this is all sewn around fully right through front to back um all the way around the journal <clears throat> so the outer is fabric in the inner is this really pretty roses paper um these are just some tags this is just a little cardstock tag and then this is a vintage card from an old vintage deck of playing cards um this is an embossed journal spot uh, that i included and then just a little sheet of paper that's got notes on it this is from an actual Alice book and I just really liked how that looked in here since this is the Queen of Hearts there's the Queen of Hearts card and the vintage card right there so there are those um this is another there's a lot of vintage stuff in this one this is a vintage doily that I cut um, to be just the right size to fit right there. Um, I had like these outer parts and it was like, you know, like a bigger doily, but it was able to be cut down to this size and it fit right perfectly there. And I was like, that's gotta go right on the front. And the, the hues in this just match the paper that I used right there so well. I used a little Tim Holtz, um, resin rose um there are a lot of charms in this book i can't remember if i did i think i did maybe nine nine of those charms they're like enamel charms metal charms um it's just different little charms on the edges uh so this is just a journal card I don't think I inked on these ones because if you wanted to do like some coloring or something then the ink won't run for you. Um, this is Rose of the Rio Grand old music sheet. It's from, it's actually from 1941. So that's pretty old. That's an 80 year old sheet of music. and obviously it's pretty perfect because it's about roses there's a lot of notations that like that um about roses and you know hearts and all of that good stuff in this book there's the queen right there um this is coffee dyed paper there is some stenciling i don't know if you can See that my camera's not picking it up super well there it is it's just a pink little rosebud that I stenciled there there's some roses washi tape 
this was a page that was too short and instead of like sewing or like doing something the whole way down I just took a little snippet of the book and washi taped that on there so that maybe you could do something else up here or not you know whatever whatever you want there's some punching more roses stenciled some journal cards of Alice this is a wallpaper um, envelope that I sewn around and it has some pretty sorry silk this I did this coffee dyed paper that has these imprints of leaves and stuff um, this is just really pretty I like the the purples in this I just feel like it goes with the book well more um, coffee dyed paper that I did this one I did with lace this is a really cool page so there's the page itself is roses <laughs> again um, and then I sewn I have sewn a piece of a butterfly book to this and then here there's just a tag and I did a little punch out there on that tag and then here's a page toward the end of the book um, with the Queen and I just I didn't really put this piece in the book because this is from a 1950s version of Alice that I found at um, I forget where I found this a rummage sale maybe um, and it has some red pen like a little a little kid drew in this or something but it is a 70 year old page um out of a 70 year old book so i just thought it was really cool and i wanted to include it anyway because it was about the queen of hearts and i just wanted to include it for something to play with just in case you wanted it um so i liked this i felt like this might have been like the queen this is an actual vintage picture, um, and I thought maybe, you know, this could have been the queen when she was younger, back in her youth. I, you know what, I think I had this tucked in with these guys, perhaps? I think I had this tucked in with these guys. I just had this around that to keep it safe. Oh, you know what? I think I had it on this side. Now I'm fiddling with this a lot. I don't know why. Why I'm fiddling with it so much. Okay. There we go. Okay. On we go. More roses with, like, damask paper there. So I believe this journal is 108 pages front and back. Um, there's a little journal card. This is just a flower card, a Hallmark card, and um, it's just blank. So you could actually use it or journal with it and then include it in your book or whatever. There's another vintage playing card. I believe those are from the 50s as well. This is a, a coloring page from an adult coloring book that was really cool and whimsical. Um, this is a piece of vintage lace that I did on there. Oh, this is the one. This is the one where this paper, was, where this, where this piece was in. I knew she was somewhere else. There she is. There she is. This is, see, another flamingo. Okay, this is a flamingo. But he reminded me of the dodo birds. So I think I put two of them in there. A black one and this little blue one. Because they remind me of the dodo birds. Okay. And then, oh, our sticker's coming off. I stenciled here. And I did a little washi cat because that one's stripey and he reminded me of the Cheshire cat. And that one says my sweetheart. 
which is just hearts, queen of hearts, more of my nature papers. I really like this one here, that kind of, I don't know, even though she's got a skeleton head, she has roses on her head and she has like red and white polka dot dress, so she kind of reminds me of the queen. More stenciling. Another charm of an umbrella. I think the March hair was carrying an umbrella. There's the other side of that coffee dyed doily paper that I did. Here's a big tag that's pretty cool that I cut out. Um, another journaling card. It's just a little double page sewn um, note, notepad thing. Here's another piece of this coloring page. So I tried to include a lot of fun things, a lot of stenciling and stuff, but I love stenciling because you can just write over it and it still adds so much, um, so much whimsy and, and like, it's just like another element. Um, so this is an oxide ink, the Tim Holtz oxide ink. And so it's not going to come off, and it'll go right on dark colors. Red lips, like the queen's. A little rule, right? Because she's the queen. She just wants a little rule. Grow your own wine. See, she's just growing her, her plants, her trees of roses. That's all she cares about, right? So... There's that. This, it has, okay, here is a charm of a little cat right there. He kind of is funny and has like markings on him and stuff. And so I thought he kind of looks like the Cheshire Cat. And then we have this page of the Queen and this little piece with Alice here and then I just did some sorry silk on this um, this comes off you know so you can just I, I tried to leave this hooked on here like this but it was kind of like falling off because it was too heavy with the cat charm so I just did do the paper clip on over top of it to hold it there more snugly but this will fold out and I just wanted to leave it folded in so that it was actually um, stuck in there better and then this little guy I'm gonna leave there but you can see that's a nice a nice book page there's a heart a little gemstone heart a butterfly like um like the caterpillar turning into a butterfly this is mainly based on, these are just some drawing spots. They're not really done up. I kind of left them all blank for you to do up and just spent most of my time on the book itself and just included the extras. Um, I love this fabric. I got this cool fabric and these guys were on it. Um, so I just had to cut them out and put them on this. Um, so what else do we have? This has a side tuck. Did I put something in there? Oh, I did. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. So this is a tuck spot as well. I sewn around this. This is a little journal card that I sewn around. And then I stapled on this little bit of fabric and lace. Hooked a little charm that says made with love. And I just like that because it has a heart like the queen of hearts right and then i just tuck that in there like that because i like how it sticks out and i forgot it was even in there <laughs> truly um and then i just added some little things in here um i made this the rose pocket to go in there to go right on the front of this second signature this is the middle of the book so that's the second signature um, this is just a little journal spot. I have a whole book of them that I picked up at a sale, and I really, I love including them. Um, there's him. 
He was actually an off print, and I, I cut him off, but I thought I'd include him anyway, just for an extra little drawing spot, because he's really cute, and I don't like to waste. <laughs> um, it's just a watermelon, and I just like that because it's, it's red and dark green, and it just keeps with the vibes of the book. And I thought of Alice eating all of her special little treats and stuff. Um, so this is like a tag made with like Franken paper on the back. And, um, and then just an image from a, a butterfly book. And then I sewed some pretty fabric down here. And then this is just a flip out again. That's more coffee dyed paper that I did. This is a piece. I don't know how this is attached on here. Barely, that's how. Um, I don't know how this is attached on here. Okay, we're gonna, I don't know. This is kind of, I think it's supposed to go like this. And then I was just putting this around the whole thing. Okay, and then I just wanted to include this paper that has all these animals because there are so many animals in Alice in Wonderland, and I just inked in between all the lines and all around the edges because it's just cool too. It adds for a cool appearance. Um, again, there's another charm on this one. It's a crown, pink enamel crown. Okay. And then over here on the back, is just a king see there's another one of those off cuts um that it printed wrong uh from a kit from Artie Mays but I really love that kit and so I just included them anyway um just for extra journaling spots and so there's just a little foam heart too and that's just a little card and that can go anywhere um which is really cool because you can actually you can do it on the bottom corner, like that, and it can actually be like a tuck spot too. And you can tuck stuff in, like from from that, like that. So that's kind of cool. Or you can clip it to the page, just like these. I don't know if this was how this goes. I just, I don't know. I don't know why this is, actually I don't know why this is um, having so much fluff now. It's got so much fluff. We're just going to tuck it in there with that, okay? That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to just put one on the one side and one on the other side, okay? There, that's what we're going to do. There, and we're going to get rid of that fluff. There, that's a lot better, isn't it? It looks much better, okay. Okay, there, that's a lot better. Okay, now, now our animal is on one side, our animal page is on one side, and this page is on the other, okay? A little bit more of that rose washi. There's a page of an Alice book. Fold it over because it's too wide if not. More coffee stained paper. This is a page because it wasn't quite long enough I believe. Um, so I just I sewn them down together. Uh, this was just an extra little piece from a book. From the Alice book. So I just taped it in there with some flower washi tape. I thought it looked pretty. And this was from um, a really old book of my grandfather's, actually, that my mom had kept of his. Um, and so I just, I took a piece of that and put it in there. It wasn't quite long enough, though, and so I just, um, you know, sewed on a piece. And here's another vintage playing card. of hearts, of course. This is, um, this is glued on there, I believe. I don't think I, did I sew that on a second time? No. I did sew around this because when I made it, I put the feather down on the canvas and then put the tissue paper over it and then Mod Podged it and then sewn around it a couple of times. Um, so that's in there, and I just thought those are kind of like the feathers of like the dodo birds and stuff. Right, maybe Alice picked it up and found it. Um, and those are like when she's out in the forest, because there's forest scenes. 
Um, here's just a little notebook with some stripey pages and some pinks and purples and stuff. I just like that. It keeps with the theme of the book. Some rose stenciled pages. More roses. It's just an Alice postcard with a big piece of washi here with the rose washi tape. And there's gems. This is an embossed piece of card that I did with um, some colored oxide ink. This is one of my big lace coffee dyed pages. There's a tag. This is one of our corner pages. Here is a nice little carrot enamel charm for the white rabbit. There is oops, a lot of sewing. I like to do the sewing in my journals. Um, there's the March hair. There's an avocado dyed paper tag. Nothing done to it, just avocado dyed and cut into a tag. I love this one. It's a Valentine. This is from um, an Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, poem book. So, and I did some sewing there, and this is a big pocket up at the top. This is some more of the rose, the dripping roses fabric that matches the outside ties. This is a really neat charm that I did with some beading and a key, a bronze key. bunnies. This is just a piece of wool and I really feel like that that color it matches um it looks to me like this color doesn't it kind of look like this her dress it kind of looks like her dress inside that that herringbone pattern inside of her dress I I like that the under the under part in her petticoat there or whatever. I'm not sure if that's, I think that's what it's called. Um, and then I just did a red heart. I actually had a pink heart there and I was like, no, that's not right. She's, she's got, the, it's got to have the red heart. And so you could write under there still or take that off, but that's just attached with a brad that I covered in the rose washi tape. This you could add another page or something like to flip out there. This it's just the King of Hearts. See, so she's kind of got him hidden because that's on an old vintage playing card. It's like a picture of her King of Hearts because <laughs> he's hidden under the rose vellum. Um, so I just stapled that up there, covered that in the heart washi. See the little white rabbit. I don't know why I keep calling him the March Hare. He's not. He's the white rabbit. There's that I did. Um, I sprayed all of these things and stenciled the pages and the doilies. And then I had this out of a Tim Holtz sticker book, The King and the Queen. I did this fabric um, on a jelly plate. So I jelly printed that and then just a butterfly like the caterpillar. And then we have this last page that has a couple more tags. Just a little dangle and the rose. Just a little picture of this lady. Maybe that was 
a picture of the queen when she was younger, or her mother, perhaps. There's the white rabbit. This is actually a journal, um, like a book plate that you could actually put something in, um, like a little, a name or something. I didn't include one, but you could do that. And then I just included this little sheet for if you want to write down some plans for the week, a week, whatever week. And then this is like the very last, um, the very last paragraph in the book. So that's the end of that book. And I really love how this one came out. And I hope that you guys do too. It is very, very pretty. Um, I wanted, I wanted so badly to keep this book. I love Alice in Wonderland so much. Um, but I can't keep all of my journals. So it is going up in my Etsy shop, huggableearth.com and on my Etsy shop. So, I hope you guys like it. Any questions, or if you want any, um, you know, a custom journal or any other kinds of videos, um, then just put something in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Alright? Um, thanks for watching. Okay, bye!